Hello everyone, I'm Stefan Batifo, I'm a developer advocate at Zillis. Uh, you can find all my socials here if you have any questions related to what I'm going to talk about today. And talking about that, today I'm going to talk about RAG and how you can use agents to perform different activities. Uh, I am going to use Langgraph, I'm going to use Milvis, and then I'm going to use Olama with Llama 3. Uh, but yes, let's get started. So Milvis is a vector database built for developers. It's an open source vector database and it brings search to your Gen AI applications. You can start with a pip install on your laptop and then you can use it with like different AI tools, but then also you can use it with like billions of vectors. So yes, if you don't have Milvis uh, installed yet on your laptop, go to milvis.io and then you can run the pip install py Milvis here. Then you can also check our quick start documentation so you can learn how to use Milvis and how to use AI in, for your applications. Let's go. Uh, I here, I'm going to install Milvis Lite so you know we can do, just run the pip install by Milvis. Uh, then I have the different, uh, different dependencies, sorry. So you have Langchain with Milvis. Uh, I'm also going to use Tabuli, which is a search engine for LLMs. I'm also going to use Hugging Face. Uh, for my embedding models. So here, in this tutorial, the idea is to use a local land graph with a rag, ag rag agent with Llama 3. So the idea is, is that we combine you know, different ideas from different papers into one rag agent. So we're going to have routing, which is adaptive rag, basically. So it's going to root question to different retrieval approaches. Then we have fallback, so it's corrective rag. So it really falls back to web search if you know if it doesn't find any document that is relevant to your query. Then we're gonna have self-correction. So this one fix answers that are related to hallucinations or if you know if you don't address the question. Basically it looks like that. So you have your question here and then you have the routing part. The routing part either if it can't find anything relevant in Milvis, then it's gonna do a web search. But then if you actually find something that is relevant for your document then it's going to retrieve those documents. It's going to grade those documents after that. It's going to check if your documents are relevant or not. If they are relevant, then it's going to generate an answer. Then it's going to check for hallucination. Uh, then if it notices that it's hallucinating, then it's going to generate another answer again. If it didn't hallucinate, then it's going to check if we actually answer the question. If yes, then we give the answer back to LLM. And if no, then we do a web search. So that's the idea. And yeah, basically, as I said before, we have different ideas that will add to the agent. So reflection, it basically, the land graph agent will reflect, you know, if it has to go like on retrieval, if it has to go on generation, it has to go on like different use cases and tools. Planning, we're laying out the graph, you know, so that it helps your agent to form some kind of planning. And then the tool use, like do I have to do a web search? Do I have to do a retrieval in Milvis? You know, those are the different things that we'll have. Uh, I'm going to use Llama 3 with Olama. So if you don't have Olama installed, uh, you should install it. And then to be able to use Llama 3 on your laptop, you have to pull it first. So if you don't have it, do run an Olama pool Llama 3. And then once you do that, you can then actually use it. I'm going to use Tabuli uh, to be able to do search. That's really a search engine for your LLMs. So it can be really helpful. Uh, here, I'm importing the different environment variables that I'm going to use because Tavuli, I need an API key. Um, so yes, I'm importing it. I'm defining that I'm going to use Llama 3 for my LLM. Uh, and then uh, here, that's where I'm defining the data that I'm going to use and I'm going to put in Milvis. So I have you know, my line chain. I'm like importing different things. Uh, I'm importing a document loader which is the web-based loader. So this one will allow me to then browse the internet and store the data in Melvis. So I have three URLs here. I can show you what it looks like. So those are blog posts that are related to LLM agent in general. So, you know, they're talking about agent system overview, so like the planning, the memory, the tool use, and then it looks like that. You have your agent. Then you decide, you know, based on some different actions, it will decide if it has to check the calendar, the calculator, or, you know, different things. It can be also like self critics. But you see, it's related to LLMs, it's related to agents. This one is another one as well from the same uh, author, and it's about prompt engineering. So this one is more like about prompt engineering for LLMs and, you know, different things. You can see that 
and the third document, uh, you know, is again again related to LLM. So those documents are in general related to either LLMs or agents. Uh, and what I'm doing, so I'm getting the documents, I'm loading them all, then I'm splitting them, and then now I'm creating some chunks. So those chunks are 250 characters. Um, don't ask me why I'm choosing 250, it's just a default value that I'm using, it's not the best one. It really depends on your documents, it really depends on your use case. There's not really like a golden rule of it has to be 250. So then I'm splitting all my documents, and here I'm adding it to Milvis. So this is the Milvis part, so I'm like, you know, I loaded my document, then I'm gonna uh, store everything in Milvis. Uh, I'm creating a collection name, which is called Rag Milvis. I'm gonna use the hu Hugging Face Embeddings default ones. And then here is where the magic happens. So this is where I define that, you know, we're gonna use the local Milvis, the Milvis slide. So I'm just giving it a fine name, and then it will know that you should use Milvis Lite. If you were to use Milvis, you know, on Kubernetes or on the cloud, then you have to change the URI with like the URI of the cloud instance. Uh, then it will automatically redirect it to Milvis that is on the cloud. Then we, we define it as a retriever, uh, and I can actually launch it. Um, it's gonna take a bit of time, you know, it has to go on the internet, it has to browse it, it has to, to get everything, and then it's gonna, it has to install everything uh, and put everything into Milvis. So let's wait a bit. And we're done. We should have everything then installed into Milvis. So now we have, we're happy, you know, we have all our data. Uh, so we can like then, you know, add the different parts of our agents. So the first part is the retrieval grader. This is what I have here. So again, you know, I'm using Olama with Llama 3 here. And I'm basically giving, giving it a prompt that, you know, it should grade if the answer is relevant or not to the user question. So, you know, you're checking if it contains certain keywords related to the user question. Uh, and if it does, then grade it as relevant. And otherwise, filter out uh, the different retrievals that are not really relevant. We're gonna then give it a binary score, yes or no, uh, and here we pass it. We pass the document, and here we pass the user question. So my question is just related. It's just agent memory. So you know we've seen before on the document that we're actually talking about agent memory. So I expect a yes as an answer. So let's see if actually uh, we're getting a yes. So let's wait a bit. It has to talk to my LLM. Uh, you know, it's it's like it has to do like a lot of back and forth uh, to be able to tell if yes, it's actually working. We can see the score is actually yes. So indeed, you know, like if the question is agent memory, then it's really relevant to the document we have in our vector store. Then I have something else, which is another part, you know, which is about generating. So this one, uh, you define it as an assistant for question and answering task. And basically, depending on the answer and the question, we're going to generate a better answer for you. So we are also keeping it short, so it's only three sentences maximum, and we keep the answer concise. So this is useful if you know you find some relevant documents in Melvis, but then you actually want to make it like nice, you know, more like question answering task. So again, you know, we'll do some post-processing, and then here I'm asking you the same question, which is about agent memory. So it's going to check, you know, if we have this data, and then if we do, then it's going to generate an answer. So let's see, uh, let's see if it actually works. So it seems like it actually found something. So you know, like we're discussing agent memory mechanism. Uh, and then we're like, you know, generating some text to explain basically what it's doing. Um, and there, therefore, it's saying like, I can answer that the agent memory is a reflection-based mechanism that is using recency, importance, and relevance to inform its behavior. So that's the part which is about generating, you know. Then we have one which is an hallucination grader. So this one is, you know, you're checking if you're hallucinating or not. You're checking if the answer is grounded in. So again, you give a binary score, yes or no, to indicate if either the answer is grounded in or not. So we're gonna do it again, it's the same question I'm asking about agent memory. So we can check if it actually knows, and then if it's you know, supported by some facts. So let's check it out. Yes, it's again, you know, it's giving a score that is yes. So like, you know, talking about agent memory when my documents are all about agents, indeed, it makes sense. 
We have then another one which is an integrator. So this one is here to you know really help you to know if you like the answer you're giving is actually a good answer, and if not, then you're going to try to to generate another answer. So again, you know like for my yes, we're getting a yes here because my question is again agent memory. Uh, then we have a routing system. So the routing system is defined here. You are saying, oh, you're an expert at routing. Uh, use a question to like either the vector search or the web search. And you say, OK, you can use the vector search for questions that are relevant to LLM agents, prompt engineering, or advers adversarial attacks. Uh, and yeah, and if you don't know about those, then you're going to do a web search. Uh, so I have two questions. The first one is, when will the Euro football take place? And the second one is, what are the types of agent memory? I expect this one to actually hit the index, uh, and this one to do a web search. So let's see. Yeah, correct. The first one is doing a web search. The second one is doing a vector store. So we're checking in, you know, in Milvis if we actually have um, this data. Then here, it's only defining uh, the tabulae search. So you know, I, it's the web search tool that I'm going to use. And I just want three results back. So now, we're going to go into a bit of more code. We have a control flow here that is using LangGraph. Uh, and we're going to represent the state of, of our graph with the different nodes that we need. So here, we define a class you know, with a question, with a generation, with a web search. Uh, and documents. So this one is like whether to add search or not, and generation is the same. So we have our retrieval mode. So this one is just here to retrieve documents from, from the vector store. You know, like just adding some, you know, some print the box statements. Uh, and here, you know, we like retrieve. Uh, so we retrieve the question that was asked. Then we have the generate node which is very similar, uh, except that you know, you're going to like use the generating uh, function that we have before. So this one can you know, generate some text, depending on the answer. Then we grade the documents. You know, it's the same. It's very similar. We check if the documents are relevant to the question. Um, and if they're not, then we're going to do a web search. Then we have the web search uh, function, which is the same. You know, like if, if we need to do a web search, then we, we're going to invoke TVLI here. Uh, and then we're going to give you uh, the answer back. And then there is a routing system. So it's either we do a web search or we give it to a RAG app application. Uh, so this one is the same. You know, If the data source is web search, then we route to web search. Otherwise, we search into Milvis. We can also decide whether or not to generate uh, an answer or to add web search. So this one you know, is like really basic. Uh, depending on the grade of your documents, either we do a web search or not. And here, we, det we determine whether the generation is grounded in the document and if it actually answers the question. So this one you know, is checking for hallucination. Uh, it's checking if the de generation is grounded in documents. Uh, then we grade the gener generation against the question. We then define our, we then add our nodes you know, everywhere uh, to, our, to our graph. Uh, and then we can do that. Uh, then we here, sorry, it went up again. Yes. And here I'm going to build the graph. So uh, I'm really like, you know, building the graph and routing the question and saying web search is web search, vector search, search is the reach free function. I'm adding the edge, you know, grade documents. Uh, and then I'm deciding, you know, like if I grade documents, then you decide to generate with like web search and generate. Same for. You know, generating the documents and the question, check if you're actually uh, useful. And if it's useful, then you call the end state. That is then saying to your agent, please stop generating, please stop working. I'm happy with what we have. Uh, I can compile this workflow. So that's what I'm doing here. And for the first time, I'm going to test, actually. And I'm going to ask, what are the types of agent memory? So let's see if it actually works. We can see we're routing the question, uh, what are the type of agent memory? He's checking in Milvis, you know, for the data. Uh, he's tweeting the question to our rack system. Then he's retrieving the data we have. He's checking then if the document is relevant to the question. Uh, then he's grading the different documents that we have. Uh, and here, it made a decision that it should generate some text. So now, it's finished running the grading. So now we generate the text. We're then checking for hallucinations. Uh, we check if the generation is grounded in the documents. We check also if what we generated actually answers the question. And then, now it's actually finished, 
Uh, we can see the type of agent memory mentioned in the context are recency, importance, and relevance. So that's what he found that in Milvis. And then he decided, you know, like to generate, a, to generate some text for you, and then actually checked if you were answering the question. Uh, the graph looks like this one. Um, so yeah, you have your start. You might go to the vector store, retrieve, grade the documents. If the documents are not good, then you do a web search, uh, and otherwise you generate. And then if it's useful, you're happy at the end. But otherwise, if you don't have anything in your vector store, then you're going to do a web search directly. I have another example, uh, which is you know checking when is the We Are Developer Conference expected to happen next in Europe. It's a big conference that is happening in Berlin in July. So let's see if we actually find this answer. So this one. You know, it checked that actually I don't have that in my rack app. So then we're going to do a web search. And then we're going to generate some text, check for an destination again, and, you know, check if we actually answered the question. So then it's saying the We Are Developer Conference is expected to happen next in Europe from July 17th to the 19th in Berlin, which is correct. And then, you know, I have like another one, which is when the Euro of Football take place. Uh, it's going to do a web search again. Uh, because we don't have anything related to that in our vector database, so let's have let's ha let's wait for a bit. Now it's generating the text. Then it's going to check for hallucination. Then it's going to check if the hallucination is grounded in documents, and then hopefully we have the correct answer. Yes. So we can check that the euro is uh, 20, taking place from June 14th to July 14th. Um, and the final is on July 4th in Berlin. So if you like this tutorial, uh, give us a start on GitHub. Uh, we are on milvis.io. Uh, um, it would be really grateful if you do that. Also, if you want, if you have any questions, you can add me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm Stefan Batifo. That was my tutorial for learning on how to use RAG agents with Milvis and Langraph. Thank you. <laughs>